Irritable bowel syndrome affects 11% of the population. These patients suffer from chronic abdominal pain. And essentially, these patients have a, a rewiring of their nervous system. So even though they shouldn't experience pain, they actually do. So we asked the question, how are the nerves in the gut activated to cause chronic pain? So we took um, an example from the skin, where you can get both pain and itch. And as the name implies, this is irritable bowel syndrome. So we wondered if there was an irritation of the nerves in the gut. And essentially what we've found is that the receptors which mediate itch in the skin also mediate pain in the gut. So essentially, these patients are suffering from a, a gut itch. We've done this in preclinical models. We've translated this through to human tissue. And now we hope to, to fundamentally take this through to a human treatment whereby a patient may be able to take a medication, a once daily pill, to treat their IBS and to treat their pain. Most people are familiar with what happens to their skin. You can get uh, itch, for instance. You can get pain from your skin. So that led us to think, well, is there similar pathways in the gut which results in activation and sensitization of these nerves. And essentially that's what we've found, is that the same mechanisms and receptors which cause itch from our skin also activate and irritate our gut to sensitize these nerves and cause gut pain. And we know that they couple down to a receptor which is activated by wasabi. So most people may be familiar with wasabi, with a sushi. That's the ingredient which will blow the back of your head off, basically. That's the really strong, pungent mechanism there. So we know that these itch receptors couple to that. So essentially that's how you, you get the pain. Uh, it's because it activates a particular receptor on nerves. It activates them and basically sends a, a pain signal. And that's what's happening within your gut. These poor patients, they're, they're feeling pain all the time. So understanding how that happens uh, and why it's happening, and then how we can treat that is, is a crucial aspect. And that's why our research um, showing that some of these itch mechanisms are actually co uh, contributing to this chronic gut pain uh, is really important.